I was not a theater major initially when I first got to VCU. I was a business major. Um, but I just wanted to act so bad. I just wanted to be on stage so bad that I auditioned for a show uh, my freshman year at, in the theater department called Smokey Joe's Cafe. And got my parents to come up and see it. They checked it out. And I told them, hey, this is what I want to do. And the faculty, they were so convincing towards my parents, uh, had such an influence on, I guess, how my parents perceived acting and what theater can be. Uh, the next semester, you know, with my mother and my father's blessing, I became a theater major. And thus began my, my theater VCU and my VCU arts journey. VCU arts, uh, there's two parts to that word. You have VCU and then you have arts. Uh, handling the arts aspect of that, in order to have art, you have to live, you have to enjoy life, observe and experience. Um, and there's none of that without the community of VCU. Um, that's one thing I enjoy so much, is being able to, to bounce from culture to culture in different, different ethnic groups, different sports activities, different, uh, just life in general in Richmond, Virginia, uh, as a VCU student. I was able to grow and become an individual, which is so important, which fueled my art and life on stage. Um, so I can truly say that I am a VCU artist. My, my sophomore year, my first year as a, as a theater VCU student, I had one professor who was just so energetic and so, so loving and supportive in what he taught and, and, and how he lived. And I just pulled so much from him in that regard. Um, my junior year, I had another professor who, you know, getting, getting into specifics, really, really helped me grow as an individual, which is very important in art. Um, and there's another professor, uh, uh, goes by the name of Patty. She's just this great big bundle of atomic energy. And you need that. You need to know how to go about life, living life, enjoying life with a lot of energy and just joy and she you know she gave me that uh, the faculty I would not be where I am today without them a lot of people ask me you know how did I get up to New York after graduation uh, or were you afraid the answer is no no I wasn't only because come my junior and senior year while I was really focusing on my studies I remembered that I had to transition eventually so what I did, I ended up doing was I would take trips uh, during my spring break or a quick fall break. I would take a weekend trip up to New York just to get acclimated to the city, expose myself to what was going on just to get comfortable. Uh, there's no reason to be afraid uh, because VCU and VCU Arts will train you and give you everything you need to succeed wherever you go. And I'm eternally grateful for where I am right now and what they've done for me. I graduated in 2010 and um, I've been in New York a little over two and a half years now, and I've just been privileged to just finish the workshop for a new um, Broadway-bound musical, Holler If You Hear Me, uh, using Tupac Shakur's music. Um, the workshop is the developmental period before a show heads to Broadway, and uh, we receive great news that they have everything they need except for the theater, the, broad, the actual Broadway theater, which they're in negotiations with right now. Um, I've been told it's not a matter of whether or not it will happen, it's just a matter of when. So, God willing, I'll be making my Broadway debut very shortly. And that's a big accomplishment, you know. You know thinking two and a half, three years ago, I was, I was just in school, and that's not a long time. It really isn't. Um, my career has definitely been going at a steady incline, and, and it won't stop, because I don't plan on stopping until I get to the top. <laughs>